along El Camino Real de Tierra Dentro during Spanish colonial times, from the late 1500s to the early 1800s, what were children doing to contribute to their community, and how did they have fun? At El Rancho de las Golondrinas, a Spanish colonial ranch from the 1700s, life as it was then is still alive in the setting, the buildings, and the activities that take place here. Several times a year, children come to the Ranch of the Swallows to experience and to perform the duties of the children from the 1700s. They learn that churro sheep were brought up El Camino Real from Mexico City in the late 1500s, and that the wool of the sheep became invaluable to everyday life. Once sheep were sheared, the wool needed to be washed to get it ready to be dyed with brilliant colors. To wash the wool, the family dug up a yucca plant and used the root to obtain soap. They would take the bark off the root with a manoan matati, or a knife. They squeezed the root and swished it in a pan of water to make the water soapy. Swirling the wool in the water cleaned off all of the oil. Now it was ready to be dyed. Hand spinning of the wool turned it into yarn for colcha embroidery. Children as young as six, seven, or eight learned this skill. Mothers would teach their daughters to embroider blankets, bedspreads, and rugs. Culture embroidery is easy. It's just one stitch repeated over and over. Corn had long been an important crop for the Pueblo Indians and Spanish people. Children shucked the corn and used a mano and matati to grind the corn, which was then made into cornmeal for tortillas. The people who settled here didn't have stores along El Camino Real to buy sugar. They made their own sweetener by boiling down sorghum cane. The sorghum mill you see here is from the 1900s. In the 1700s, children would take a mallet and pound the sorghum cane in a trough to squeeze the juice out. The juice was boiled for four or five hours to make sorghum molasses, which tasted very sweet and a bit smoky. Children also helped make rope and bake bread in a traditional adobe oven called an orno. But what did they do to have fun? Well, fun then and fun now is relatively different. In the 1700s, chores and free time were interwoven in everyday life. Boys may have enjoyed going out hunting, but it was also essential to survival. Some activities included spiritual beliefs. Ojo de Dios, or the eye of God, is a weaving made across two sticks. The spiritual eye has the power to see and understand things unknown. They were placed in places where people worked or where they walked along a trail, where the eye can watch you do your work or inspire you. During downtime in the winter, girls might make ramietas, a beautiful bouquet of paper flowers, cutting vibrant patterns of paper into various shapes. The ramieta was layered and secured. This was an excellent chore to achieve good hand and eye coordination. During Spanish colonial times, the children were involved in everyday family life. Come to El Rancho de las Golondrinas and other points along El Camino Real de Tierra Dentro National Historic Trail. You may be surprised to find family traditions that look and feel familiar.